Good morning from NYC. Are here in New York we've been here for about a day and a half we haven't vlogged anything else just for two reasons one we didn't want to walk around New York City with our camera and gimbal and just be a prime target for somebody to take it from us also if you're just seeing Broadway shows they don't like you bring in kind of professional ish looking yeah. filming equipment and that's so. all we've been doing <laughs> we saw the Book of Mormon and Wicked on our first day here we got here on a Sunday and then last night we saw Chicago with Pamela Anderson which was strange so so strange it was strange <laughs> but not, still not fun not bad or not just fun. really just interesting interesting it's, it's odd to see somebody who has such a big name like 50 feet from you it was just it was interesting anyway today is a day that i have been looking forward to for 10 years because the last time we were in new york we didn't get the chance to go to ellis island but today we are going However, Ellis Island does have some rules that we're a little concerned about, and for that reason, we're going to leave our gimbal, which is the instrument that balances our camera, here today. So we just want to apologize in advance for the shaky footage, and if you just see a whole bunch of slow motions, it's because it's easier to make those look not shaky. <laughs> we, uh, they don't have any storage lockers anymore at the um, terminals where you get on the ferry. So if they tell you that you can't bring something, you either discard it and never see it again, or you don't go. So uh, I want to go, and we're not going to risk it. Um, we need to get an Uber, and then we'll be on the way. And then a ferry. Yes. And then on the way. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get to do a hard hat tour, uh, which they take you to other areas of the island that are not restored yet, including the um, hospital and the morgue and like a bunch of other cool, interesting places. So fingers crossed that there's still tickets available for that. We're going to wait and buy them on the island because we've never done this before and we've heard the ferry can take hours to get onto. Let's get moving. Wish us luck. We just got to the ferry terminal area. It doesn't open for like another 20 minutes and it looks like there is a huge line already so we're gonna go get in it. It wasn't too bad. And now we go through security and then we can get on the ferry. We have made it on the ferry. The water is very rocky. I'm very nervous for my motion sickness but it's a short ride. We can see everything from here so hopefully we'll get going and then it's like a 10 to 15 minute ferry ride over and then we're there. Better time than now to go Following the stars And amber lights from lonely cars That's the Statue of Liberty! But we're not going there. Um, we are only going to Ellis Island today. Most of the ferry has emptied onto the Statue of Liberty, so hopefully Ellis Island will be practically empty. I'm very excited. Staring at the sky Lock my heart inside the night I see it from afar Secrets hidden where you are When the federal government took over the processing of immigrants in the 1890s, a new receiving station was constructed on Ellis Island. By the beginning of the 20th century, Thousands reach the island's shores every day. You will have the opportunity to learn much more about these immigrants and their experiences during your visit today. The main building of the Ellis Island Immigration Station Complex has been restored and is now a museum containing three floors of self-guided exhibits. Information is available at the desk on the main floor. 
We are here at Ellis Island where over 12 million immigrant Americans passed through to get into the United States. It was built right around the turn of the century, uh, started I, guess, I think in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It's a fascinating place, full of so much history. I've wanted to come here for so long, I'm so excited to finally be here. We got the hard hat tickets for noon, so we've got about an hour to explore, so we're gonna check out everything else there is to do in this giant museum. The trail that I just went through the first floor level of the museum which is all about immigration to the United States from like 1500s to present day and now we're gonna grab a bite to eat at the cafe we both got burgers uh, we meet for our hard hat tour in about half an hour so hopefully we have enough time to shove down all the food and then head over that way Everything in the dining area here is a reproduction of what immigrants would have seen and used in the dining room when they came here when Ellis Island was in operation. They uh, originally used benches, but then later switched to bentwood chairs. So the chairs, the tables, the wall tiles, and even the murals are all reproduction of what would have been here when it was in use. Now we are waiting to go on the hard hat tour. It's a 90 minute walking tour, as I said earlier, of some of the places that you can't get into with general admission. Also from reading some of the signs, it looks like a lot of the cost um, kind of goes towards keeping that area up and maybe renovating it someday. I don't know how much we're gonna be able to film on the tour, but we're gonna try really hard. I know that it said on the website that you can't film while walking, but I think we'll get a lot of stopping points to get pictures and video and all of those kinds of things. I am super excited. Who doesn't love wandering through an abandoned crumbling hospital?
We are currently in the tuberculosis ward. It's fascinating in here. They're hoping when they renovate this um, hospital, we're in the infectious disease side, that they want to turn it into a medical museum and maybe do um, exhibits about each of the diseases and how we've come to treat them all in each of those words. The amazing thing is that in each and every of these words, there is now a vaccine for those diseases and that these words would not be needed at all today. If you come to Ellis Island and you get the chance to do the hard hat tour, it is 100% worth it. It was amazing. The, you get to go into a lot of the buildings that you do not get to go into if you just have the regular admissions. Um, if you like looking at old stuff like that hasn't been really touched by anybody, um, the thing to remember is that stuff that you're looking at was maybe touched by the military because it was a military base after mm -hmm. it was immigration. So. Definitely check it out. Our guide was very knowledgeable. She had a lot of really cool stories. If you do come and it's not restored yet um, into another part of the museum here, bring a mask no matter COVID or not. There's a lot of asbestos in there. There's a lot of dust from the materials that are crumbling. A lot of stuff that you don't really want to breathe in. So if you think about it, bring a mask anyway. Our tour guide says that she wears a mask always in there just because of the amount of debris in the air. I know it's a weird thing to say that I've always wanted to come to Ellis Island. That might not be something that everybody else wants to come through and see. But I think what I find fascinating about it is just each individual story of the 12 and a half million people that came through this building and then the thousands that stayed at the hospital. It was fascinating to learn about the hospital. They had um, a general hospital where you went. If you came to Ellis Island pregnant, you stayed here at the general hospital until you delivered that baby, which a lot of people immediately think, oh gosh, how horrible. But our guide was telling us that that was probably the best place, for, place you. for you because if you then went into New York City you were probably living in a very terrible tenement house with very unclean conditions and the likelihood that mother and child would die in that setting was far higher than if they were here at the hospital so we learned a lot about that a lot about all of the infectious disease wards it was it was amazing we learned a lot a lot of stories we still have two floors of the museum left to explore here that like I said earlier the bottom floor is really about immigration and migration to the United States as a whole. The upper floors are more about Ellis Island and its existence here. I they think they said it closed. The immigration kind of stopped here in 1924, I think. And then by 1956, it was abandoned. 
and then there was like a lot of looting. Anybody could just come over and take whatever they wanted, which is why they had to do so much work to restore it in the first place. So we're gonna get to seeing some more of the museum. We're hoping, hoping you are enjoying it so far. That is us finished at Ellis Island. It was phenomenal. We're back on the ferry now, headed back to our hotel because we are catching another show tonight. We'll fill you in more on Ellis Island when we get back to a quiet spot. We are back in our hotel room for all of 30 seconds before we have to run out and grab dinner and then go see a show. Tonight we are seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and we are super, super, super excited for it. So recap on Ellis Island really, really quickly. Uh, the hard hat tour was definitely worth it. It was kind of pricey. It was $100 it was, a piece. No, 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 no. It was $55 a piece. It was, it was $110 total. total. Yeah. But to be able to see things that probably 90% of the people who go there. I would say 99% of the people that go don't get to it's, see. It's, it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. So check it out if you are into, especially like seeing it as it really was back in the day, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and the, our guide was super, super knowledgeable. We learned a lot about 
all of the areas that we went and saw. The areas change constantly on what you get to see and what you don't get to see based on the conditions of the rooms. As she said, daily they get notifications on what rooms you can no longer go into because they're not stable enough. So it's just kind of a hit or miss as to what you get to see when you go. However, we felt totally safe the entire yeah. time. Nothing felt wonky. No. Um, they definitely are just, they're constantly keeping an eye on everything. Mm -hmm. And so she said sometimes they are like, oh, we can't go in that room anymore. And then they go in and reinforce it. And then you can go in that room. So mm -hmm. they're just, you know. They're keeping an eye on you. Keeping keep an eye out for you. We were supposed to go to the morgue area, like the mortuary. But that we didn't get to go see that. Which um, I didn't realize was a really big deal to Lydia. I was bummed. I just thought it was kind of cool. I don't know. I wanted to go see it. Anyways, really cool. Definitely worth the money if you want to go do the hard hat tour. Um, if you want to go in general, it is history heavy. That's obviously why it's a museum. Um, there's a lot to see. It can be very overwhelming. If I had a suggestion, I would skip the whole first floor exhibit. Yeah, if you're If, if you're familiar with American history of people coming to America. It is everything you've learned in school, essentially just really, 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 really in depth. I feel like we could have passed that and just gone up to the history of Ellis Island. The Ellis Island history is really on floors two and three. So if you're just interested in that, start there. And then if you have time at the end, walk through the first floor. Um, we, I, we got there crack of dawn as early as we possibly could. First, we shot the first 9 o'clock ferry. Yeah. We skipped the Statue of Liberty. Billy's been once before. We have sailed by it twice now. Um, so I feel like we got really good views from the ferry even. Like it, you sail right by it on the ferry and then right by it again to go to Ellis Island. So um, we spent six, almost seven hours at Ellis Island. <laughs> I, was, I was ready to go at about hour five. Billy was done. I was... I was keen on seeing everything, so we did. Um, you could easily spend all day if you're into museums. If you're not into museums, obviously you could see it in a couple of hours if you wanted to. But um, we really enjoyed it. For me, it was a, a childhood dream come true. I read a book when I was a kid about a boy who goes there on a school field trip and then like hits a time slip and goes back in time. So if I can find it, I'll link it if you're interested in it. That's a whole obsession started with Ellis Island. So it was really cool to actually go and get to see it in person. If you are interested at all in the immigration story to the United States during that time period of about the late oh, 1800s late and early 1900s, yeah. they, said, they said they stopped coming in there about 1923. Mm -hmm. Don't quote us on I'll that. I'll put it in here somewhere. <laughs> but if you're interested in that, it's definitely worth your time. Great views of the Statue of Liberty. And, and of course, kind of... if you wanted to get off of... You can also... This, mm -hmm. We could have done both. We just only chose to do uh, Ellis, Ellis yeah. Island. The so you can go both. to both. So definitely check it out. Spend as much time as you want in the museum. Get a good view of the Statue of Liberty. And also go to the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth it. There's also phenomenal views of the New York skyline. Random, interesting bit of information. Our tour guide said that one in four, right? One in four Americans has an Ellis Island story in their family history. So dig into your own family history. Find out if your ancestors came through there. I thought that was a really cool statistic. The other thing they have there is they have records, mm -hmm. like on computers and online, that you can check out. Um, we didn't really film much in there because there's a bunch of people in there trying to find their, Doing their own history. kind of history thing. But if you think you have a relative that came through there, you can probably find out. So definitely look into that. So that pretty much wraps out our time here in New York. We fly home early tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go shove some food in our faces, see one more show on the trip. And then if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen our 10,000 stories about empanada mamas. We're probably gonna go back there for dinner after the show. <laughs> First, we're gonna see Harry Potter. <laughs>